I always like to prove the critics wrong. That's according to Vice President Dr. Mudubamia, who is uh, heating back at his opponents, who recently attacked him for touting Ghana's national identification card above infrastructural development. Some Ghanaians have uh, also flooded social media in recent days, asking the Vice President to provide clear evidence on why he believes his digitization agenda is working. Over the weekend, the NDC at the National Delegates Conference uh, of the New Patriotic Party also took a swipe at the Vice President for misplacing his priorities by focusing on needless technological ventures. If you are part of the critics, the Vice President has a message for you. Telcoms who issued a mobile money wallet. But now we, in Ghana, we have a bank-wide mobile money wallet called the Ghana Pay. People could not understand how zipline drones, the drone services, could be used to deliver medical supplies and save lives. They tried to convince people that drones were to be used for taking pictures of women in bathrooms. They did not believe. But today, as we speak, Ghana, as we speak, has become the world's, the largest medical drone delivery service in the world, the whole world, our own Ghana. So unfortunately for people or governments who try to move our country to a different level, they are confronted with a mindset that only sees impossibility, a mindset that refuses to believe that African countries like Ghana can lead the world in the implementation of digital technologies. And this is why I enjoy proving the skeptics wrong all the time. Ultimately, usually when I say we are going to do this, they will say he's lying. And then later on, when it comes, they keep quiet. <laughs> Ultimately, we must all remember that you cannot transform an economy with just brick and mortar. That you, you cannot transform an economy with brick and mortar, with just brick and mortar. No. You can only transform an economy with ideas, with systems, and with institutions. Not just brick and mortar. Ideas, systems, and institutions. That is what transforms economy. And this is why we are focusing on these ideas, systems, and institutions. Uh, you know, so people will say, oh, but you are not doing economics. But your economy cannot function in the 21st century if you don't have the systems and institutions. And that is where we are focusing on building all of these systems, the digital platforms, for us to go forward in the, in the 24th, 21st century. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Obami, I want to bring in uh, Osei Kwame Griffiths, Director of IT for the National Democratic Congress, one time former um, Executive Secretary for the National Identification Authority. Thank you, sir, for your time. So you've heard from the Vice President. He says it's about systems and non-reliance on brick and mortar. What's your take? Well, first of all, I would like to state that, uh, you know, it's gotten beyond the point where we say that... Uh, it's unfortunate we have uh, somebody in such a high office who would resort to, you know, spewing out, you know, blatant untruths, you know, anytime he gets the opportunity to do so. Uh, it's, it's gotten to a point where it begins to get offensive in a sense that we live in a country where people can, some, a lot of people cannot afford, you know, even one decent meal a day. You know, so as a, the, the leader of the economic management team, the expectation was to tell us, you know, not necessarily how we even got here, but how we are going to get out of this mess. I listened to him, you know, the speech that you just played in, in its entirety, and I picked up a few things. And, 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 and let me start by saying that um, he, he said that, uh, you know, we have changed the SIM register, the team number registration, the tax ID registration of this nation. I'll take the issues one after the other. Okay, yes, that's, that's fair enough, yes. Now, he, he said that, you know, 
people don't understand. And I, let, let me quote him. Uh, when we said, when we bring mobile money interoperability, every adult Ghanaian will have a bank account. And then, and then he's, he goes ahead, you know, and defines a bank account as a mobile money wallet or a bank account. Mm. Let me state that it is not the interoperable. First of all, before Dr. Baumia became the vice president of this country, there was mobile money interoperability. It has been further enhanced, just like this, the, the computer you used in 2016 is no longer, the specs have been outmoded. <laughs> all the applications on this have moved beyond, especially with the, with, with the, uh, with the COVID, COVID yeah, pandemic. But, but aside all the points you're raising, the, the vice president makes a stronger one argument. He says, we don't always have to rely on brick and mortar, and that is about systems. Ensuring yes, it, it, that we have foresight in terms of that moving towards digitization. Yes, but here's what I want to give you: you know, specifics. How he arrived at that conclusion? Right. You know, I want to go specifically. Mm. So, when he says ninety percent of Ghanaian adults now have bank accounts, I think that is deceptive. Because when you say bank account, and you define it as a mobile money wallet, or a bank account, <laughs> you know, then people would wonder, did people just get mobile money wallets after the interoperability was enhanced? No, mobile money wallets have existed. When you say that 4% of Ghanaians used to be have 10 numbers, now 85% of Ghanaians have 10 numbers. You are referring to LI 2111, which was passed in 20. 12, which says that if you go to sub regulation seven, paragraph K, it says that uh, for the tax purposes of collecting tax, the NIA card is now going to be used. Therefore, the NIA PIN number replaces the TIN identification, the tax identification number per that law. And steps were made to make sure we achieve that. Yeah, so Mr. Fact, Mr. Griffiths, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to get the point here. The vice president says, I'm championing a digitization agenda. So what's the beef of the NDC really on that? He is not, he, 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 first of all, the digitization agenda that we started when we were in office, all the e-gov services were started during our time. You know, fine, some of the systems have been enhanced. But if you say that you are, you, you, your, your predecessors don't understand digitalization, you understand, so you are the one who is making that claim that perhaps you are the one who has brought this issue into this country. It has never been so. If you will give access to systems and applications, credit to anything at all in this country, you would give it to two people, two, uh, two, uh, one person in this country and the pandemic. One is, JDM, the person who made uh, accessible fiber, a thousand kilometers of fiber from Accra all the way to Upper East, so that people within the rural communities can also join in the digitalization ag agenda of the country. And then of course, the pandemic also brought a lot of automated systems on board, where people now resorted to Zoom meetings, as I'm speaking to you from my home right now. So, let us not make it look as if your predecessor did nothing. And then you come and things that you say, for example, that TIN numbers, because the NIA card has replaced TIN numbers, of course, everybody who has an NIA card now has a TIN number. Yeah, but, but then you have the vice president point out clearly. Database with, yeah, but, but with, you have the vice with, president. Uh, he, he's accusing your party of trivializing such a serious national exercise. The Ghana card has been trivialized by the NDC. Over the weekend, you had um, Otokuno, for instance, the uh, general secretary of your, the deputy general secretary of your party, uh, point out uh, as a way of mocking the vice president that he used this Ghana card um, to purchase a ball of kinky. That, that's not fair to the vice president, is it? Okay, first of all, the vice president said, if instead of giving me interchanges, I will take a, a Ghana card. Precisely. I think he misspoke on that. What he meant was you would, he would rather take a, 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 an identity management 
a robust identity management system for a nation. You, you understand? That is what he probably meant to say. But let me, let me, let me, let's look a bit at the history of this Ghana card issue. When we came into office in 2008, uh, uh, I mean, at least when I joined in 2009 in, uh, at NIA, I was the head of security and biometrics and technology. One of the things we, we realized was that the system that had been put in place had some serious issues. It, you know, even phone numbers were not collected. Some data, critical data needs were, were absent. So this gave the excuse for several institutions to procure biometric systems. Every nation needs one civil biometric system and one criminal biometric system. Ghana, we bought 10. So there was an issue of moratorium on the procurement of aphesis during JDM's time. And we quickly moved towards building the type of system that will be acceptable by all institutions and therefore curtailing the, the, the needless procurement of aphesis. And uh, because the cost of a, a civil biometric, the average cost of a built civil biometric system a $60 million. We had bought 10. The 11th one was bought by SNIT. So we said, you know what, pause. Now, let me say for the records that the system that issued the national ID card to Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, His Excellency, the president of this country, that system that issued the first NIA card to him in uh, 2017, September of 2017, the NPP administration did not add even a pen drive to that system. So John Mahama, John Mahama bought the of that system. Please let me let me let me let, right. me, let me finish. I want to make okay. a point. The factory acceptance of that system happened in December of 2016. Now let me also indicate that you cannot have an international competitive bidding on any system conclude build databases, uh, 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 build your data centers, and then get a system ready by September of 2017. The system already existed before they came into office. They have done a very good job at issuing of the national ID card. Uh, Mr. Mr. I mean, Griff Mr. Mr. Griffiths, what, what you're trying to do now is just to steal some credit, isn't it? You, you are the same uh, class of people bastardizing the vice president for his decision to take on digitalization no we are not bastardizing him for his decision to take on digitalization we are saying that this agenda began before he became the vice president of this country and i've given you instances where uh we built thousand kilometers of fiber sent into the rural areas to allow accessibility uh, accessibility nationwide we expanded the Accra Tema, uh, uh, metropolitan fiber network you know we built, we built the largest three-tier data center with, with 600 rack spaces uh, in, in West Africa. You know, what is the data, data center? Which is the house where all these applications that the vice president is talking about uh, uh, exist. The e-gov uh, 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 systems were all built during uh, uh, JDM Mills Muhammad time. So we are not stealing. We are not stealing. The, 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 the vice president is fan of speaking halfway truths, which, uh, which, which, which are even more dangerous than, than lies. If you look at, for example, uh, what I told you, by ensuring based on a law that was passed earlier and a system put in place before you came into office, you come and issue cars and you say you have moved 4% numbers to to 85%. Uh, to, uh, 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 it is just a replacement of 10 number system with a national ID card pin number. In fact, today, when I listened to him, he had changed his language from the Ghana card becoming e passport. Now he says it's just a travel document. Now, yeah, let me, but, let me, but let me whichever way, it, it, it could be a travel document, right? Let me, let me make this very clear. All that the Ghana card is achieving as a travel document is that when you have a passport, because you need a passport for air travel anywhere in this world, no, uh, no country in this world would accept you, to, including Ghana, to travel without a passport from any of our airports. 
to any country. That's number one. The, 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 the United States has a card that is ACAO compliant. And that card is only good for land travel within the Caribbean uh, 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 you know, area, and I think Canada or so. Canada, there are about 20 countries that allow them for lunch and sea travel. That card is not accepted for air travel anywhere in this world. Now, the Ghana card remains an identity document that identifies you as a Ghanaian, as a, and as a result, you can travel with a non Ghanaian passport without a visa in it, period. And the Ghana card is not unique in performing that function. You see that paper card, that paper, uh, the dual citizen card, that green paper card, mm. that also satisfies that condition. That is also in, in the ICAO system in a non-electronic way. Yes, but, but if you and, look, at, if you look uh, at the features of the Ghana cards being issued now, uh, they've revised the, three, uh, is it the 3D barcodes. Uh, that were being used that under the NDC administration. Uh, you agree that some features have been enhanced about this card, which could potentially make it a travel document? Well, uh, they have revised, they have not revised. See, that's why I say, when you say they have revised the, th uh, the, 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 the 3D, the, it's not a 3D, it's the 2D, two-dimensional backhoe. Right. That was one of the issues we raised in 20... Uh, to 2009, because the 2D barcode was limited, it has only one kilo, kilobyte space, allows uh, no, it doesn't allow read write. So we said, okay, let's change it. We 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 specified a, a 120 120k 120 kilobyte smart dual interface card. In fact, the very people who are taking credit. For the dual interface part, I remember very well, fought me very much when I insisted on a dual interface part. The reason why I did insist on a dual interface card was because, one, when you go to the airports, the auto gates use a proximity card, so you need the antennas. When you go to all our banking system, you have to insert the card so it can read the, the chip on it. So it is a contact card. So we said, let's define both so that it will broaden the use. It makes it a multifunctional card. The acceptance for that card that we are talking about is part of the system that the factory acceptance was done in December of 2016, mm. before January of 2017, before this administration took office. All right, so we need to go, the but card, in the end, I guess your message is Dr. Baumia should not personalize or own the Ghana card, right? No, you should not own. What I'm trying to say is that the entire digitalization agenda, the, the the, ex the fact that a lot more people are using the system has to do with access, which we provided. They haven't added one kilometer of fiber to the fiber network that we created. Of course, COVID also played its role. Because of COVID, a lot of e-learning systems, a lot of meetings, a lot of remote payment systems have been developed you know, throughout the world. So you don't write on things that you had nothing to do about, and then you not only do you take credits, but you also make it look as if your predecessors did nothing. You understand? If you right. take Dr. Baumier's speech, he said that uh, President uh, Kufour uh, started the NIS system and it was abandoned for eight years by the NDC administration. If it was abandoned, we couldn't have done a factory acceptance system in 2016 December. We couldn't have done that. We couldn't have had a system that was ready to issue a card to. The, uh, the president of the republic in September of 20, uh, uh, 2017. Because, like I said, and I want to repeat that, that system, the MPP administration didn't even add a pen drive to that system before it issued the first card to the, the His right, Excellency, the president. We need to go. I'm grateful, Jose Kwame Griffiths, uh, Director of IT for the National Democratic Congress. You're still with us here on the polls on the Join News Channel. When we return, we'll talk about some more issues. Please stay.